In this tutorial I'll explain how to move the position of a bar plot legend in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial I will show you an example and this example is based on the matrix object that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing which is called data. And we can print this matrix object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see that our matrix contains four rows which are called A, B, C and D and five columns which are called group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4 and group 5. So if we want to draw these data in a bar plot then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 7 and 8. So in these lines of code I'm using the bar plot function and within the bar plot function I'm specifying the name of our matrix object and I'm also specifying the colors that I want to show in our bar plot. So if you run lines 7 and 8 of the code you can see at the bottom right that we have created a bar plot which is showing different colors for the different groups in our data. Now let's assume that we want to add a legend to this bar plot. Then we might use the legend function as you can see in lines 9 to 12. So in these lines of code I'm specifying that I want to show our legend at the top right. I specify that the names or the labels in this legend should be named according to the row names of our data matrix and I'm specifying the colors and the style of these legend items. So if you run lines 9 to 12 of the code you can see that a legend is appearing at the bottom right in our plot. However, you can also see that this legend is overlapping one of the bars in our bar plot. So in the next example I want to show you how to avoid this overlap and for this we first need to increase the space on the right side of our plot and we can do that by using the path function as you can see in line 14 of the code and within the path function we are specifying the mar argument to a vector of four different values and in this case you can see the default specifications of the mar argument and if you want to change these default specifications then we simply need to increase or decrease the values in this vector of values and if we want to increase the space on the right side of the plot we need to increase the last value in this vector. So in this case I'm increasing this value from 2.1 to the value 4 and then I'm applying line 14 of the code to set the new options in our RStudio session. Then in the next step I'm using the code that you can see in lines 16 to 20 and in this case I'm drawing our legend already inside the bar plot function. So in this case I'm using again our data matrix that we have created in the beginning. I'm also specifying the colors that I want to use and then I'm specifying the legend.text argument to be equal to true and I'm also specifying the args.legend argument to be equal to a list and in this list I'm specifying the parameters for our legend. So in this case I want to show the legend at the top right and I want to set an inset to move the legend a bit further to the right side. So if you run lines 16 to 20 of the code you can see at the bottom right that our legend is updated and as you can see this time our legend is shown at the right side of our plot and it is not overlapping the bars of our bar plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. 
Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.